What up everybody, Chip Walton, Garage Chop and Brew. We're doing another unboxing, three days of unboxings. That's feeling like Christmas up in St. Paul, y'all. We had our box from Barry Salem. We had our box from Keith Ciani, Headless Mumpy Brewing in uh, Olympia. This is from our good friend, fan, confidant, and cohort, Aaron LaRue in Everett. Washington, so not too far from where Keith is, but up in Seattle. He's in the North Seattle Homebrewers Club, and he wanted to send. You like how I'm using my keys? Super legit. You would think in the garage with Chop and Brew, you'd be able to find a legit br a blade, but I think I left it inside the house. Ugh. Everybody's done a really good job so far. Um, Packing and boxing. I've actually thought in the past about doing a video about packing for shipping. And then because, you know, there's some questionability about shipping, I just never have. But uh, I've seen some of the most interesting and innovative and inventive ways of packing boxes you've ever seen. So it seems like maybe something cool to do. So first up from Aaron. Ooh. Oh man, he, <laughs> I've never seen this. So every time you get one, there's something new. So this is like a super crazy, like padded, ultra padded bubbler. And then inside of this son of a gun, he's got his cans vacuum sealed. So, um, oh, so he didn't tell me about this. So I know to expect a Black is Beautiful that he brewed and a Dandelion Mead and a couple of uh, pro beers from his area. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to cut this open. Hold on, I think I do have a blade. Ah, yes, I do have a blade. So we're gonna unhermetically seal this bag. That was smart. I've never seen anybody vacuum seal a bag. That is really intelligent. So this is called Time Has Told Me. Time Has Told Me is the first pull of our Solera mixed fermentation ale. We brewed an old Bruin and a golden ale that was fermented with our house saison yeast and several various sour yeast blends. After fermentation, we blended the ale into an Ula whiskey barrel where it aged for eight months before bottling. ABV 7.2, IBU 0. Um, La Rue. La Ruvia, <laughs> I guess is what he calls his home brewery. So when he says ours, I don't know if he just means he and his wife or if he means um, like the club. But so we're going to have Solera. So it's like a brown golden mashup of something a little funky. Yes, he told me about this. So this is Cloudburst Brewing in Seattle. I believe it's called all apologies, even though it doesn't say on here. He sent me a heads up about this. This is their Strata Fresh Hopped um, IPA or Wet Hopped Ale. Uh, I believe Fresh Strata at 20 pounds per barrel. This, it doesn't say on the bottom, but he said that this was canned like September 17th or 18th. So that's less than a month old. These are super cool too. You could use these for 750s. Wine bottles, bombers. Oh my gosh, dude, he sent so much stuff. So this is another one from his home brewery. It's called Day is Done, a golden sour that was fermented with a mix of Saison yeast, wild yeast, bacteria, and several dregs. This beer was aged for three years on oak, canned conditioned with Bretomyces, a funky lemony tart lambic like experience canned on 425 20 6.5 abv final gravity zero this one was also about 1002 this is as black as beautiful so he cans clearly as you can see he's got a can at home 8.7 percent 80 ibu brewed mid-june canned early august uh, i believe he said that he and his club got a bunch of malt uh, donated from Skagit Valley. Um, yeast was from Imperial. And then some other supplies were for Micro Homebrew. 
So I'm looking very forward to that. We've been very proud of that project as we've talked about it. And then look at this mofo. Ooh, this is his dandelion wine. I believe he said it's about three years old now. So he's like, I'm not really sure how much dandelion you'll actually get out of it. Um, but it's still got that color. It's a beautiful honey gold color. Uh, dandelion mead. I believe he said um, he put some spirals of mischief i believe mischief distillery so whiskey uh, he put some spirals in there so it's kind of like a whiskey aids dandelion mead man and it's wonderfully packaged so dude yes yes it's like christmas in october y'all so shout out to aaron you folks will obviously see these be partaken of at some point in the near future I appreciate it, man. This is really fun. I kind of enjoy these unboxings. I don't know if you guys like them. Let me know in the comments below. But they're kind of silly, but they're also kind of fun to just get like a first reaction to what's in the box. And now I have a lot of extra packing material. So, chop for chop, roof for brew. Vacuum seal your shippable fermentables. <laughs>